So this is the synopsis written by Amazon Prime for Tirushi Trambalam. A light-hearted tale about a food delivery guy, Pajam, his breezy friendship with Shobana, and a quirky bond with a quick-witted grandfather. Get swept in the fun and frolic as they cheerfully navigate their messy lives. Lies. Complete lies. Light-hearted. If anything, it's heavy-hearted or has a lot of heart. There's nothing breezy about his friendships or any of his relationships, whether with friends or family. Everything runs deep. Sure, his grandfather is a bit quick-witted and there is some fun and frolic, but mostly this movie is full of heart and explores a variety of themes as is expected of the better South Indian movies. There's romance, drama, comedy, kidnapping, coming of age, masculinity, character development, and a subtle class conflict. A better way to describe this movie would be a rom-com, which is somehow also a heartwarming drama that explores various themes surrounding life. And oh, I haven't even fully introduced the movie. Tirushi Trambalam is a Tamil movie starring Danush, Nithya Menon, Rashi Khanna and Priya Bhavani Shankar. Mithran Jawahar directs it and there's music by Anirudh Ravichanda. The movie is about Tiruchi Trambalam, also known as Pajam, played by Danush, a simple-minded food deliverer who is trying to find love. But the movie also explores the dynamics of his unique family, which is three generations of men living under one roof and the first scene of this movie is a dramatic scene its implication unveiled throughout the movie what truly makes this movie is the performance of the actors Danush is good, but I'm afraid it's the other leads that steal the show. Nitya Menen has my favorite performance. She plays the best friend, portraying a character that might seem plain at first. Girl next door, likes to sleep, has a steady job. Maybe a bit loud-mouthed, a lot loud-mouthed. But as you get to know her, there's a lot of depth. And Nitya Menon portrays this perfectly. Veteran actor Bharati Raja plays the grandfather, another gem in the movie. He navigates the drama with an easygoing attitude, but is probably the wisest and most functional. Prakash Raj plays the father, who is a police captain. He doesn't speak much, but there is more than meets the ears. Tiruchi Trambalam generally avoids the typical melodrama and focuses more on realism and reliability. Like most of the best southern Indian movies, Tiruchi Trambalam tells the story efficiently. I've identified this as a southern Indian cinema trait, which is navigating what could be classified as a rom-com with the storytelling efficiency of an action thriller. What they do is give as much story as they can not dwelling too much, but not too fast, that you can't absorb the emotions it intends to deliver. I personally really like this type of filmmaking. It has maybe one or two musical numbers, which for an Indian movie is minuscule. I know some people don't like music and dance breaks in Indian movies, but I don't mind it, especially the South Indian ones, because they do it in a more gritty, creative, music video sort of way and i am always impressed by how they film it there's one part in this movie where the lighting suddenly switches up to neon purple instantly transforming the scene from a dirty alley to a beautiful quaint one as the leads sing and dance and there's even some clever use of graphics can i say tiruchi trambolam is a feel-good movie not completely, it does make you feel good, but there's way more to it, even if explored in a subtle way. Ultimately, the movie is about life, and with life comes love and family, while exploring all kinds of themes which I will talk about in the spoiler section. It's a movie with depth. If you like this kind of thing, highly recommend it. I give it a 9.5 out of 11. spoilers ahead enter at your own risk i did say earlier that this movie explores the theme of masculinity i can't say it's the intended central theme but it does linger throughout the main character lives in a house 
with his father and grandfather. That's it. Aren't you curious why? If you watch the movie, it tells you why. Or if you keep listening to my review here, every single one of them has to deal with the family trauma, the passing of mother and daughter through an accident. The father at first dealt with his guilt by being a hard ass. Meanwhile, his son went from someone who used to get into fights all the time to someone who's afraid of physical confrontations. He blames his father for the death of his mother and sister. Pajam and his father are not on talking terms, but the father still treats him with tough love, not trying to understand his son's change of behavior. Eventually, they both deal with this, the father letting go of his hard assness and finally expressing his guilt and after Pazam finally forgives his father, they can talk again. The grandfather seems cheeky but he is the one with wisdom, dictating a lot of things without being bossy or crass in his own casual way and he's always on point. While he does most of the house chores, the three ultimately assist each other. I would say a film about three men under one roof is kind of unique, even if it's not the main focus of the movie since it's marketed as a rom-com. Pretty much, they discover a different side of masculinity, a side that understands each other and helps each other to achieve happiness and closure. The toxic masculinity even extended to the father abolishing all contact with his in-laws due to guilt. But ultimately, a happy ending before happy endings, the in-laws invite them to a wedding and they oblige and discover that the in-laws were never angry at them. In fact, the in-laws miss them a lot because they're family. While all of this is happening, Pajam is seen courting a few girls and discovers some mixed signals, maybe some class conflict. He strikes up a relationship with an old school crush and soon discovers that she's just from a different class. She's possibly upper middle class and has a different view of relationships. He thinks if he likes someone and that someone kind of likes him back, he proposes she accepts and that's about it. A bit more traditional, maybe a working class understanding of relationships. But the girl just wants a casual relationship. I don't know if she feels a bit of shame dating someone of a lower class, but she's definitely a bit more modern and doesn't take relationships as seriously as Pajam. This is when he encounters some character development. He could be angry at this as it differs from his conditioning, but he accepts it as it is, learns something new and moves on. And at the in-laws wedding ceremony, he met someone in the village, but she simply didn't want anything to do with him, didn't want to give his number. It's a soft reject. And through his best friend, he learns to accept this. Liking someone doesn't mean ownership. This might be a simple concept, but it's hard to grasp for a lot of men. But Pavham, due to his newly docile behavior adopted through trauma, learns another new thing and moves on. Pajam keeps on trying to find himself. He's practically a child and you're watching him develop. One thing I've noticed about this movie is it likes to predict what you expect would happen, tease that and do something else. For example, in that part when everything got really intense between the three men, there was a calm before the storm. In my mind, I'm thinking, yeah, something's gonna happen to the grandfather. A phone call, Pajam answers. A simple grandfather is in the hospital on the other end of the line. He goes to the hospital and the grandfather is of course in the hospital, but just standing casually, he hits Pajam with a newspaper I might be making this up and tells him to go to the war to see someone else. It's like they're playing mind games with us. But it's fun because there were a few times I was expecting something to happen due to repeated patterns, having watched a lot of movies, but they switch it up after teasing you, of course. Finally, we get to the MVP, the GOAT, the best friend. I watched this movie before I watched One Day on Netflix and I didn't even make the connection. It's practically One Day but with a happy ending. The best friend was the one all along 
and it takes him a long time to realize it. It's quite typical of men because we take a bit more time to mature. We might realize certain things a bit slower. She kind of carries the movie to be honest. Just like one day you watch the movie thinking Pajam is the protagonist but she's the main character all along. It's easy to overlook someone like her because she's funny and men don't usually like funny women. I don't even know why. She also might be a bit crass, but that's because they're best friends. But ultimately, she's dependable and she has a deep affection for him and his family. The grandpa already told him she was the one. I told you he's always on point. His dumbass took a whole movie spanning years to finally understand. But it is what it is. And that's about it for spoiler discussions. If you spot anything else interesting, drop a comment and also tell me if you would like more reviews of Indian movies, specifically from southern India. Peace out.